Well, there's no doubt about it. About it. It's cold outside. Aaron Leedy shows us how to dress up for old man winter. Given the recent frigid temperatures, what's the proper way to dress when you're outside? Chief of Emergency Medicine for St. Elizabeth's Emergency Health, Dr. Mark Estes, says that the most important thing is to try and limit your exposure in general, but if you have to be outside, bundle up. Layering, obviously, is, is key. Uh, the more layers you have on, the, you trap air between each of those layers, which is a thermal insulator, and so the more layers, the warmer your core will stay. Don't forget the gloves, don't forget the, the warm socks, the waterproof you know, boots or shoes. Uh, the, the hat, don't forget the ears and the nose, those things uh, if, if exposed. Dr. Estes says that even something as simple as cleaning off your windshield without a pair of these can be hazardous within a few minutes. If the windshields are 10 below zero uh, and you don't, uh, you, know, you don't cover up your ears, uh, you know, don't wear a hat, gloves, those kind of things, you spend say 10 minutes out there, 15 minutes out there scraping snow off and scraping ice off and all those kind of things, uh, you certainly could, uh, in the right environment, um, uh, right situation, have a, have a frost uh, bite or frost nip related problem. Most people seem to be taking Dr. Estes' advice, considering the amount of merchandise that has been flying off the shelves at the Lafayette Rule King store. Store clothing manager Chanel Luttrell says that it's hard to keep popular items in stock. Yeah, anything thermal lined, anything that's um, extra warmth whether it be the flannel lined um, jeans, the uh, thermal lined shirts, buttoned up shirts, the long johns, anything. We just can't seem to keep anything in. Dr. Estes says that even the type of fabric you wear can make a big difference in how cold you are versus how warm. You know, thinking about the, the choices of materials, you know, wool versus cotton, um, you know, Gore-Tex or something that's water repellent or water resistant, uh, wind repellent, those type of things, as opposed to thin cotton things that just absorb water and lose all of their thermal insulation properties. So the next time you're outside, make sure to wear long johns for what appears is going to be a long winter. Aaron Leedy, News Channel 18.